Hi, Dragons. Here is Unit 1, Day 8, Warm Up. So we have over on the left-hand side, Aaliyah's birthday party. I have taken that problem and written it on the back of page 6, where is where we did some GCF work, which is Greatest Common Factor. And I'm going to go ahead and work with you on solving this. You can also find this problem in, under Modules. So you go into Canvas, you go into Modules, and Unit 1, Factors and Multiples, is the entire unit. You go down to Unit 1, Day 8. If you click on that day, you'll see the warm-up and you'll see the problem we worked on. So hopefully that helps. All right, let's take a good look at Aaliyah's birthday party. Aaliyah is preparing for her 12th birthday. She wants to hand out party bags to her guests, and she has purchased two types of party favors for the occasion, 24 ring pops and 18 candy bracelets. She wants to make sure that each bag contains an equal quantity of each party favor. How many bags can Aaliyah make for her guests? How many ring pops and how many candy bracelets will, each, will be in each party bag? So I'd like you to take a moment right now, pause the video and see if you can brainstorm some ideas and then resume the video when you're ready. Okay, let's go on with the solution. First, we have to decide, do we want the numbers to grow bigger, like a megaphone and multiply where those would be multiples? Do we want to go skip count by 24? Do we want to skip count by 18? Or would we like to chop the numbers up like a ninja, which would be looking for the factors? These are the things we have to ask ourselves. Well, we're going to take these candies and we're going to put them in bags. Well, that sounds like we're divvying them up. If we're doing that, what we're really looking for are factors. So I'm going to hunt out my numbers that I need here. We've got 24 and 18. Fantastic. So now I'm going to find the factors of both 24 and 18. You could do a factor rainbow or a list. I use a list. So 1 and 18 is always a factor pair. Let's see, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, 4 doesn't work, 5 doesn't work, and we're back at 6. Okay, so those are my factor pairs for 18. Sometimes my list is spread out a little too far, but it is what it is, right? We, we'll deal with it. So 24, 1 and 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, four times six, five doesn't work and we're back to six. Okay, we're out, we're good. All right, so we found all the factors. Step one, find the factors. Now step two, we've got to find the common factors, the ones they share. Well, they're always gonna share one, okay? They're always gonna share one. They share two, they share three, they share six, and we're done. So these things here, those are all called your common factors. But we want to know the most amount of bags Aaliyah can make for her birthday party. So we want the greatest of the common factors. That's what we're looking for now. So this, these, this is the number. This is the largest amount of bags she can make and still be fair with the candy. So your GCF equals six. Greatest common factor equals six. So how many bags can Aaliyah make? She can, the most she can make is six bags. Now we wanna know how much candy goes in each bag. So I'm gonna take 24 ring pops and divide it into six bags. How many ring pops per bag? If you said four ring pops, you are correct. Now I'm gonna take 18 candy bracelets and divide it into the six bags. How many candy bracelets per bag? Three candy bracelets. Fantastic. So in each side, inside each party bag, we've got four ring pops and three candy bracelets. Bonus question, how many pieces of candy are in each bag?
If you said seven pieces, you are correct. All right, so she can do four ring pops and three candy bracelets per bag. So that was the warm up for unit one, day eight. Thank you for joining me, dragons. You have a great evening.